Hi everyone, welcome to my review of the Sennheiser PCX 550. Like the Bose QC35 second generation that I reviewed last time, these are premium active noise cancelling headphones. These retail for around 400 euros, just a bit more expensive than the Bose. These are almost entirely constructed out of plastic, the only metal part being the ratchet mechanism to extend the headband. The plastic is soft touch and it feels high quality. Also, it doesn't show fingerprints. I clearly prefer this look over the glossy one. On the left ear cup, we only find some microphones for noise cancelling on the side and for calls on the edges. In total, I've counted 7 microphones on this headset. In the middle of the ear cup is the NFC tag where you can tap your phone for pairing. On the right cup, besides more microphones, you find a slider button from which you can toggle between the noise cancelling levels and you can also deactivate the ANC completely. Sennheiser calls their ANC technology noise guard. With ANC on and the volume between 70 and 100%, I've got around 18 hours of battery. I didn't test it with the cable since, well, you know, these are wireless headphones and you buy them for the wireless feature. You can buy the PCX 480 if you want wired headphones with noise cancelling. It takes around 3 hours to fully charge the headphones. After this we find the effect mode control button which basically changes between different sound modes. Club, movie, speech or off. Holding this button pressed for 4 seconds puts these headphones in pairing mode. Then we have some activity LEDs, the micro USB charging port that can be used as well as an audio input source and then the 2.5mm headphone jack. Hidden here is also the Bluetooth on off button. The right ear cup is also a touchpad with a variety of swipe functions. This controls the volume by swiping up and down and the tracks by swiping left and right. If you don't see an on off button for the headphones is that you simply turn them on and off by twisting the ear cups. They also have a function called smart pose that pauses the music when you take the headphones off. However, this needs to be activated from their companion app. Even if these are lighter than the Bose, weighing only 227 grams, I actually needed time to accommodate with them on my head. They were putting quite a lot of pressure at the top of my head, but after around one week, I started to forget I was wearing them. The ear cups have enough padding and they are made from this soft artificial leather. They are not as soft as the more premium Momentum series. The headband is thick, maybe too thick. I have no idea why they padded the upper portion as well, maybe for design purposes. However, my head gets very hot after wearing them more than a couple of hours. The app that comes with the headphones is called Captune. This is not only a fully fledged equalizer, but also allows you to control all the functions of the headphones such as the noise guard noise cancelling levels, the effects mode, the language for the audio prompts and as well the call enhancement and the smart pose function. The noise cancelling function allows you to switch between no ANC, maximum ANC and everything in between if you put a toggle switch in the middle position. Speaking of noise cancelling, this is just as good as the ones offered by Bose, if not better and maybe just a hint behind the ones offered by the Sony in their MDR-1000X cracking headphones. If with the Bose I was feeling the cabin pressure in my ears, with these ones it's barely noticeable so I could wear them even 4 hours at a time. Of course with a pause after 2 hours to cool down my ears and head, since like I've mentioned they can get pretty hot. Now the sound quality of these headphones is on point. I noticed the high notes were a bit too accentuated, but since the Captune app comes with an equalizer, I could easily fix that. The mids and the lows are well defined and the bass is not overpowering the vocals. What I've noticed is that the sound improved after around 2 or 3 days. So if you buy this, you have to give them some burning time. And by the way, Aptex is also supported. The call quality is very nice thanks to three dedicated call microphones. They pick up just a bit of background noise and my voice goes clear and loud to the other end of the line. In the end, 
Would I recommend this? Definitely. Even if they were launched last year, I will still take them since they offer almost no compromises. But what do you think? Would you get them? Please leave your comment below and also check my other headphones related videos. And also please subscribe since I will have more interesting videos to come. See you next time.